Ladies and gentlemen, friends, and now in this video we are talking about the operators. In the last video you saw that um, how we worked on the loops, variables, typecasting, but the most important thing is operators. Operators are the working actually operators are the kind of working on the variables they are represented with the help of some symbols operators are in the programming languages defined as the operators are the symbols which work on the which operate on certain operands to get the desired results so in programming when we enter the variables and the initialize the variables and with the numbers then there are various kind of operations we need these operations can be categorized as arithmetic operators assignment operators comparison operators logical operators identity operators membership operators and the bitwise operators arithmetical operators we all know because everyone have seen in their schooling days that the how do they work so suppose I try to say that X is uh, just like um, these variables these operators plus uh, this is plus and um, you can say that the plus minus into its multiplication division then the modular division and the exponentiation it's represented by double star um, and this is called the floor division so these operators are very much required to do certain operations in programming we often say that if you want to understand the how something works then the better we program so I just start I say I declare a variable x which takes the sum number from the user input enter the number then the, I just type cast it write x is int and type cast it replaced back into the x only now y is input enter second number and again y is typecasted and it has become this now z is x plus y x plus y so plus is the operator and it's working like this just like content from the variable x and y are taken out they are added together and they are better assigned so the plus is the addition operator and this equal sign is also called assignment operator so if you just see the result then the print sum equals plus z now if you run the program then you will find that um, you enter two numbers here they enter the first number i enter 12 and 13 and the sum is 25 so this is relational operator if i make it minus and then this sum will become difference if i make this one as plus then this will become this uh, star star means this become the multiplication operation and this will become multiplication if I put division here then this will become division now the basic difference now if you see this is you can say that when you divide a number from another number what you get is called this quotient quotient so this quotient now you run so suppose I enter a number deliberately which is not divisible like one number is 100 and the second number is 12 
so 12 8 96 we are getting 8.333 because it has automatically converted this into the float time but if you use the floor division like this then this will give you just simple perfect 8 now again I enter the number run so enter 100 and then I enter 12 again then here I got the quotient as A this is called the floor operator and this is just kind of that when you are on the third floor then if you are very if you jump on the third like if you 2.5 centimeter away on the above the third floor then you also will be treated on the floor of this because if you see the how the apartments are made so uh, anything above third floor is floored on three like 3.1 till 3.99 it will be floored to three so approximately two. there are another functions called as the ceiling functions but we are not discuss that mathematical but if you want to use the mathematics greatly in um, like uh, operations uh, data mining and uh, machine learning then you need to know all these kind of operations now here we have so this one what you saw it was the arithmetic operators now you have assignment operator so the equals can be called as assignment operator because on division x by y the result quotient is stored into the z is called the assignment which you are assigning the value into a variable next is comparison operators like you know that all we say that if x is equals equals like is relational operators kind of like the whether the two variables are equal whether the one is greater than the other so equals greater than less than equals and uh, greater uh, less than or equal and not equal all these are called as relational operators next is logical operators which is basically the and or and not these three operators are called as logical operators next are the bitwise operators which are used to perform mostly in the robotics and the bit level programming where the operations like the left shift right shift all are performed on the disk to understand all these things we will put some informations on our website also www.educrass.com where you can go and refer to these informations right now so now the better one is logical operator i see if x and y so x and y what will be the possible ending consequences between x and y so mathematically there is no such is that because ending means when you are adding two values which are in the nature of boolean so it is just like if i make the one variable as the bool type like if I assign that X is true always make T capital Y is false and then you see Z is X and Y and I'm just trying to print the value of Z what it is now see this ending of true and false what it give you so if you see the answer then this is saying this is error again we need to type cast it from boolean to string now run and now you see the answer is false because true and false becomes false if you make true and true then it will become true so this is the logical consequences true and true true ending means is always true when both the inputs are true and uh, or or means if any one is true then like the true and false will be true true and true will be true true and but that operator is called as or then here you have to write or if you just make it not like the not like you see that the x is true if i say not x and i run and check what it gives so the x is true now here this the result is false 
it means the not means whatever will be the logical states of the variable that will be converted into another states now this is all about the operators and this you need to practice on this we will uh, slowly put some more working uh, programs so that you can practice and understand more about the uh, operators python operators now thank you very much and continue watching to our videos and keep on practicing with us this is the way you can learn and grow